For a while there, British Columbia seemed synonymous with red-hot real estate, pricey condos, bidding wars. Not now. Looking for your piece of paradise? The average price of a house in that province has dropped nearly $60,000 since last year. That's down 12%. I'm Duncan McHugh in Vancouver, where the optimistic see a silver lining to this winter's abysmal real estate sales figures. Maybe, just maybe, there's a hint of affordability creeping into the city of glass. Great news, unless you're trying to sell. Frank, you sit up. Mm -hmm. Interesting little window there. John and Indra Reekin are a bit weary of showing their home. It's a lovely rancher, three bedrooms and a den. They listed it six months ago after their offer on a condo in Kitsilano got accepted, but... It was subject again to sale of this house. And you've been waiting for sale for since September. Yes. Correct. Yes. How discouraging is that? When you've already got a place that you want to go to, you've got a beautiful house you want to sell. Um, I didn't expect it to be this, take this long. They started at 1.4 million, now it's listed at 1.19 million, less than they paid for it a couple years ago. It's just tough to, to sell, so I think everyone's kind of hesitating. No price reduced sticker yet, but their agent is talking tough. It's a new reality now, you gotta price things right if you wanna sell. He's also trying to unload this little place. This is a beautiful mansion in Caulfield, uh, listed last summer at 5.9 million, it's amazing. 5.9. 5.9 million. What's it selling for now? They've just adjusted the price to 4.9. A million dollar adjustment and empty. Just the occasional low ball offer lobbed at them. There's still a lot of homes on the market today that are priced well beyond reality. And they're using prices from 2007 and 2008 that just don't apply anymore.